Hello and welcome back to my channel Far Away. In this video I'm going to show you how to blend metallic paints. Um, right here the repair has already been done. I didn't show you how to do that because I have several videos showing how to do repairs. I did use some black primer. That's all I had right now. But I am going to add some gray sealer to get it as close as possible to the actual color of the car. The car is silver. But uh, I am going to re-clear everything all the way to over here. The reason being that this, there's a cutoff area right here that will allow me to paint the entire panel without any cuts. So I am going to paint the inside also. There's a cut there that I'm going to use to stop the clear. Okay, And there's a cut there also that I'm going to use to stop the clear. So... Let's just get started. Let me apply a bit, a little bit of a gray sealer there and uh, show you how to blend the uh, metallic paints. The sealer I'm gonna be using, it's a medium gray from Eurochem. And the gun I'm gonna be using is my Welcome uh, HTE Carbonio 360 Light. That's the one I'm gonna be using for the sealer and for the, the actual base color. First of all, I'm going to clean it up with some wax and grease remover and uh, just wipe everything down, making sure that everything is clean and uh, free of grease and grime and everything. Okay, I know it's clean because I sanded it already and stuff, but I just want to make sure that everything is clean. So let me just wipe it down, clean it up. Okay, let's get started with the sealer. The sealer's already in the gun. I'm gonna have it at 20 PSI. The reason being, I don't want that overspray to land on any of the, the silver. So I'm just gonna concentrate on this part right here. I just wanna cover that black. So let's, let me just uh, apply it so that you can see how I'm applying it. There it is, one coat, that's all you need. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it dry for about 15 minutes, come back and start uh, blending my, my silver. Once I start applying the paint, even on this one, on the sealer, I'm gonna start using a tack cloth in every coat. Okay, just on the paint itself, not on the clear. You don't use tack cloth on the clear. But on the paint, let it dry, Clean it up with a tack rag, tack cloth, so that uh, all the surface is ex extremely clean every time you're gonna apply the second coat, the previous coat. The paint I'm gonna be using is from Shopline. Uh, the code, the color code would be 1J9. That's for the Toyota Silver. Okay, let's just mix it up and uh, put it on the gun, start applying it. All right, I got the paint in the gun. I'm gonna have it at 27 PSI. 26, 27 PSI. That's, how, that's the pressure I'm gonna have it at. And just look at the motion of my hand so that you can see how the blending is gonna go. Okay, just look at the way I'm doing it. Okay, there's the first coat. Now, you're not gonna cover it with the first coat. You need to give it some time, build up the layers, and uh, once everything is uh, good, you'll cover it up. Don't try to cover it with the first or second coat. It's gonna take about three, maybe four coats of, uh, of the base to cover it up.
and there it is uh when you saw me use uh turned off the lights and use that light i was just checking for modeling just making sure that everything was correct and it is now just uh apply two coats of clear and i'll be good the car will be done There it is. Let me just unmask it, put everything back together, and uh, show it to you. And there it is. This is out in the sun. Came out real nice. The blending was perfect. You can't tell the difference in color. And that's how you blend uh, metallic paints. Hope you guys now know how to do it. And uh, this will be it. All right, guys, thank you. Subscribe, if you're not a subscriber, hit that thumbs up. Hit the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And guys, I'll see you this coming weekend. And like always, God bless.